Okay, so it's just a quick little video to show you the good and the bad uh, for anybody looking to buy this vehicle. Um, you see getting close up to it, uh, a little bit of clear coat is fading. Little rust spots like this, uh, here and there. A uh, little bit on the windshield frame here, but for the most part for its age, the windshield frame is actually uh, pretty decent. It's just a little work. It's needed at the bottom here. Um, yeah. Rims on it pretty decent. The tires are like absolutely brand new. They were put on here. Uh, everything seems to drive pretty good uh, with the shocks. As far as how the suspension feels. Let's see. A bubbling right here. These are actually bubbles before. They weren't that visual, but I wanted to test them out so I wasn't hiding anything. Uh, this is just white powder that ran off the soft, uh, the hard top there. I did put some hard doors on from another Jeep just for temporarily, so it had something on here besides the soft doors. And uh, again, this is just white powder wipes right off. So it has the half hard top, and as you can see, I'll just go along the body here so you can actually see everything. You see, the outside of the body is actually pretty decent. You know, there are small areas that definitely need to be patched up, but uh, I do consider it a salvageable body. There's a leaf there. Here's another little hole right there at the bottom. Very, very accessible, you can even see. It's something you can get right underneath there. So, it's extremely repairable. This is actually probably the worst area on the outside of the body. It's right here. But, uh, and right there. And that. I believe there was also a, a little bit along the bottom of the grill there. Just a little tiny bit of rot starting. Uh, these things are a dime or dozen out of junkyard. Eat that or you just bundle that up and get a chrome grill cover. Alright, now to show you what's really bad with it. The floors, as you can see, are absolutely shot. That's the road down there. Uh, don't want to underemphasize how bad the floors are. They really need to be cut out and replaced. And underneath the mats here, you see the rot just continues. Um, it runs and it drives excellent right now. Um, never only had it around town, never had it up on the highway. Um, but driving around town seems to work pretty good. But I to grab the handle right here, a little bit of rust, a little bit right here. Mechanically, everything seems to be maintained. All the lights work, the engine doesn't even drip oil. Or any other fluids. And again, to show you some more of the rot on the floor here. As you can see, the floor is pretty bad. It's too bad we just came out of the fall here, so a lot of leaves covering the bed. But again, I would suggest actually replacing the entire bed here. Other than that, you can see the wheel wells seem to be pretty decent. Now I'll pop the hood real quick and do a little scan of the engine bay here. Battery is nice and strong. Starts up as much as a carburetor will. And, uh, 
another thing I forgot to mention about the inside here. They actually, I have another leather seat just like this. That's actually in perfect shape with no rips. But um, the metal brackets are not in perfect shape. Unfortunately, the metal bracket rotted away. So I temporarily bought a set of these seats right here uh, from a junk yard just so there was something to sit in and drive. Uh, but I do have the other seat to go with this that you can either mount to this bracket later or whatever you decide to do. But that uh, matching seat, that beautiful leather seat right there, I will also come with this. And uh, so, to show you this side of the dashboard a little bit now. Uh, the gauges, I believe, I haven't noticed if they are working. I haven't even looked at the fuses at all. Honestly, it's I haven't had any time to work on this or even look at it. I've got so many other projects going on right now. That's actually the reason I'm selling it. Um, but I do know when I tried the windshield wipers, uh, they weren't working either. I guess I don't know, know if this did not. It could just be the switch because this switch right here is absolutely frozen. So maybe that's why. It could just be that. Yeah, so that, I believe that would be a simple fix. Uh, whatever this button is, maybe that was an auxiliary horn. But uh, that doesn't work either. Again, probably an easy switch fix. This thing sat for a lot of years, unfortunately, with only a bikini top. And so I think that's why you see a little bit of rust here, but besides the floors, everything else seems to be in a decent enough shape. Right. And uh, the floors on this side, as you can see, rotted out. Even here, just temporarily put in a piece of wood just to hold the seat for now. And. Other than that, I think you've seen everything that needs to. All right.